Howdy folks, welcome to episode two. Today we're going to continue right where we left off. And right as I was coming in, I noticed, here's the constructors. I'm so used to them being blue. I don't think anybody ever colors them anything other than blue. So yeah, here's the constructors, which is cool. And these are regular constructors, not advanced constructors. Okay, right? Yep, and so yeah, you can see that up on the upper left right here, large constructor. So if it's an advanced constructor, it will actually say that. And so yeah, there's more stuff up here too. So let's see what all is up here. I want to, before I go out to get copper, I want to consolidate all this stuff into one. Was it, were those two just the same exact thing? <laughs> and yeah, just in case I've got enough copper to, to go and let me see, I can... Yeah, I it can't, um, let's see, let's put this multi-tool away, okay, yeah, just in case I've got enough to, to do this without having to go all the way over there, and let's see, I can't move all of that stuff, I can't use the control panel to move stuff, because it's not my base, but yeah, cool, okay, so we have that, and oh, there's more stuff here too, cool, and minigun rounds, and yeah cool okay and let's see what else we've got armor wow it's like just, <laughs> it's like just start me out with everything i ever need right okay so we're gonna go over here i think we're gonna pick a i think eight maybe even one of the constructors is what we'll do we'll just put all this stuff in one of the constructors so let's do this let's put it in this one because we can reach it from down here let's put all this stuff in here and Let's see. Well, I'm just going to put it all in here, and then we'll sort it out in a minute. And, yeah. I'll figure out what all I need. And we're going to do this, and this, and that. So, yeah, let me grab the rest of these, too. And we're going to do... Let me see. Where is it? Is it this key? Is it not working? There we go. Okay. That one, that one, that. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's full. And we're going to put that all in here. So we're going to do this again. I just want to get everything consolidated, and then we'll figure out what I can do from there. So that is empty. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. And did we have more cargo boxes over on this side? No. Okay, let me turn on my flashlight too here. So that is, I think that is the L key by default. Mine is F. So I, <laughs> I change all of my keys. And so yeah, I got all this stuff. I got all that stuff. Yep, okay. So we're gonna put all this in here. And wow, even the constructor is full now too. So we're gonna grab, let's see. Here's the copper. And did we have any copper ingots? We didn't get any copper ingots. Okay, so... I can, I can just, it doesn't matter. I don't need to bring them all the way over to the furnace to make copper ingots, do I? So we're going to go like this. And that's going to make our copper ingots. And let's see how much we need. We need our factory. Here we go. We need 22 ingots of copper. And so in the last episode, I was trying to put in like optical fibers and that kind of stuff. You have to put in like two of them with some of these because they're partial. And if you don't put in two right in a row, like if you put in one and then an ingot, you don't actually get the two. So just an FYI for those of you who didn't know that. And actually, I think I am gonna take all these ores over there because I can put them in the furnace anyway. And I need to see if I can get that stuff that was in the furnace. So let's see here, that just goes to the end? Yeah, okay. And is this, this is the same room, isn't it? Yeah. All right. And so we are over here is where we wanted to go. So I'm going to grab the rest of this stuff. Anything that's in here. And yes, I have a mouse macro for, for doing those. The open the box, move the mouse to here, close the box. Or, you know, click the take all and then close the box. So, yeah, it just, it gets... It gets painful doing that over and over. And let's see here. I could probably even sell some ingots to that guy and then buy more of them. But we'll see if we have any copper in here. 
that we'll add on to that. So yeah, we'll get another 10 copper. I think we're only like two ingots shy. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're only going to be two ingots short. That's, oh man, that's just, that's just mean, isn't it? Right? Okay, so we're going to double check this. Double check that. All right, so is there a way, let me see. Um, I'm trying to think of if there's a way. Yeah, we're going to do this. There we go. And so I was able, yeah, I was able to stand right here and access that one. So let's see if I can reach that one. See if I can reach, can I reach that one? I can't reach that one. <laughs> let's see if I can reach it. Nope. Nope. Okay, yeah, it, it, it just gets so hot so quickly when you do that. All right, well, it's just going to be more of the armor thingies. And, yeah, I, I just, for some reason, I'm thinking that if I could get in that very corner, I might be able to do it. Let me just check. Nope. Nope, it's not. Okay, it's not. All right. <laughs> it's not. Okay. <sighs> So yeah, it's not going to be possible to do that, to grab that. So I'm just going to go... Did I come in this room? I don't think I came in this room. Is is that... Oh, okay, it's just an enclosed. It's just the enclosed fuel cells. All right, well, I think that is everything that's over here. So I am going to have to go get copper or I can throw in... Let me see if I have any electronics in here. I think, it com I think computers will do it. So let's see, what are, what, are, what are capacitor devices? Let me see, the capacitor devices, they don't even exist in here anymore, right? Or you can't make them with the, I wonder if you can't make those with the thing. So let's see, let's do this. And 90, and I'm just curious, where did those capacitor devices go? Did they just disappear? Or was I just imagining those? Okay, so we can start production on that, so we don't actually have to go out there to get that. So let's, let me see. Yeah, here's the capacitor devices, okay. So apparently we can't make those with this constructor, which is interesting, I, I have to say. And so what else do I wanna do here? I wanna put all this stuff in here, and I don't see a fridge anywhere. So let me double check. We have room for those? Okay. So I need to grab drill charges, multi-tool. I don't need those, but I can put those in an armor thing somewhere. Let me see. I'm going to bring water with me. Stomach pills, I think. That I can bring with me. And let me see. I need my ore scanner. And I want... I don't want coffee. I might bring a shotgun with me and shells. Yeah, definitely want to bring a shotgun and shells. So we're going to do that and that. And we're going to put these away somewhere. And yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the fridges in the other place and put this stuff in the fridges for right now. And let me see. This is healing too. And so I think there's my pistol rounds. I do need those. And there we go. There's my biofuel. So until I can get to level seven and make a, until I can get to level seven and make a higher weapon, let's see what we have here. Weapons. So I can make, I can unlock the shotgun. Yeah. I can unlock the assault rifle. I should do that. And the tier two. Yeah, I should do that and then get the tier two soon here. But I'm going to need to get to level 5 first. So I think I'm going to let this thing finish crafting. The other thing that I did not mention to you guys is this time here, the total production time. If you just put in ingots, it will actually take 9 minutes and 2 seconds. If you put in stuff like computers, it will subtract the amount of time. It will subtract an amount of time based on how much time it would take to craft these things. So you are better off putting components in. Just an FYI. And... Yeah, I think I have everything I need to go over there for right now. And we're going to go over to the residences and throw stuff in a fridge. And so let's do that. And then we can hopefully get our... Yeah, we're going to consolidate everything into one fridge. And I think there's even... 
Is it just me or does that look weird? Okay, it's just the angle of the beaches. But yeah, I think there's even more of those containers on the back side of these. Yeah, see, there's containers here too. So, because I only grabbed the ones from one side. I did not grab ones from the other side and I don't see them here. And I hate that it turns off your light every time you get in and out of a vehicle or onto a motorcycle. But yeah, I think, I think we are good here. Let's just pick it up and we'll go like this, turn on our light and we'll double check again. Cause I did grab it. Yeah, I did grab everything from here. Let me make sure that I got this one on the outside. Okay, yep. And so yeah, we're gonna go into the, is there an armor locker in here? There is an armor locker in here. What do I have? I have a mobility boost and it increases my food consumption. It only acceler it only does your acceleration. It doesn't do your actual top speed. So yeah, I don't even want to use that. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in the boosters. They're not as much as they should be. Just put it that way. They they should have better boosts. They're so like such a tiny gain and stuff and I would think the mobility boost in my opinion should be like you know if you put two or three of them on you should be like super fast you know you should be able to it should be kind of not completely ridiculous but it should be kind of ridiculous you know and so let's see what else we have here because we can go to the trading station it's another thing we can do is is let's see let's put all this stuff in here we can go to the trading station and sell stuff now so that's going to be interesting too but i think i don't want to put the water in there i think that's everything so i'm going to carry these canned vegetables on me and i'm actually going to eat some of this stuff wow that was a really long and we'll just eat the veggie burger yeah we're just gonna eat that veggie burger okay and so we are good on food for a while and we also have a couple health kits and everything. So yeah, let's see how our... What's spawning over here now? No. Okay, I thought I saw something spawning over here. Didn't I? But yeah, we're going to go... I think we're going to head over to the admin and see what's over there. So let's get our bike set up. And I should probably even grab some Promethium too. And at some point here... But I think the first thing we're just going to do is get the hovercraft. And so while we're waiting for that, we're going to go over to the admin. We're going to grab some stuff from there. And we should be in good shape. And here's some more. You know what? I'm going to stop and grab these two while I'm at it. Because I do need... I do need to get... <laughs> I do need to get more ore wherever I can. Hey, there's the Prometheum too. So what you can do is... That's a, that actually looks pretty close too. So what you can do is you can use your drone. I'll show you this. You can use your drone and you can dig. And so we're gonna do that to get some fuel here. And so yeah, you can dig with your drone. You can also, if you hit the inventory twice, it will bring up the this screen over here so that you can see if there are anything in, incoming. And so th the reason you wanna do it like this is because if you do that, if you like walk into the hole, it you can get stuck in there sometimes and it's hard to get out. So it's just it's just a convenience feature and it's a nice way to get into a difficult to reach place <laughs> and and not get stuck. So yeah, the drone is very handy. Use the F5 key to launch it and unlaunch it. Now you cannot fire weapons or you know set down you can't set down the explosive devices with it. You also cannot, um, you cannot open cargo boxes and that stuff, loot boxes with it. But what you can do is you can use the multi-tool with it. And so you can multi-tool a cargo box if, if there's no core on that base. You can multi-tool it to break it and it will drop a little container that you can then open. And I'll end up showing you that later when I'm looting stuff, I'm sure. But Anyway, so yeah, this this is again the Iron Man con competition. We have for our competitors. We have there we go. There's our there's our Prometheum stuff. We have Captain Adonis, and we have myself Lift Pizzas, 
and this is just the order that the text files in, so it's no particular order or anything like that. And we have Xanfen GMR and CL Mech. And we also have Grandpa's Gaming. Let's see if I can get a couple more of these. And we have PJ Dog 10 Mom. We also have Inverted Cow. Another one is Virus. Come on, keep going here. Next is Shakira. And Mahula. It just sounds like it's <laughs> hula for some reason. Hula hula hula. Okay, <laughs> I'm just picturing like a grass skirt for some reason. But anyway, <laughs> uh, Mesmo is next. And we also have Ben the Gentleman Gaming Company. Or Gaming Co. I think it's company. And Truth Seeker 22. And let me see what I have in my inventory here. And Captain Combat. And finally, we have wow, I have I have a lifetime lifetime supply of Prometheum now. And we also have Elephant Crunch. Cool, and there's my blueprint. So we can see now you can get out of here and you can actually just hit F5 and you're done. So let's grab our motorbike. And did I bring any fuel with me? I didn't even bring any fuel packs with me, did I? Okay, so we're going to ride over to the thing. And let's see. I don't remember if there's anything on the admin. I should probably, you know what? I'm just going to ride home so that I can grab my fuel first before uh, something weird happens like... I was wrong about how long it takes for the nasties to spawn and they spawn during a day or something <laughs> stupid like that, right? And uh, yeah, so we're just going to get this and we're going to get our, our uh, hovercraft spawned and we're going to get our, let's see, and I hope I can spawn on this base. I think I might actually have to, I think I might actually have to put down a base starter in order to spawn. So I might need some like cement blocks and all that stuff too. So let's see, because it's been a while. Uh, that I don't think that requirement was there last time I did it. I don't remember for sure now. But let's do this. We can even make those in iron. And so let's see if let's grab our fuel here. Right? We had there they are. Okay. And so let's see if we can spawn this thing. Spawn. Oh yeah, it's green. Okay, cool. I don't even have to make a base. So I can spawn it on any base. It doesn't have to be my base. <laughs> That's cool. All right. And so we're going to fill the fuel. And I'm really hoping that when I did that, it didn't use up my good fuel. Did it use the big ones? No. Good. It used the small ones. Awesome. Okay. So our fuel is... We have fuel in that thing. And let me see... I think I'm good. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I can put this stuff. Let me see. I can put the Prometheum in here and I can make a bunch of these. And let me see. 200. Whoops. 200, 300. So we can make a bunch of those. And I can make some fuel packs. Let's see. Let's make a couple hundred fuel packs. All right. While that's going. And so what I need to do is I need to get some fiber and stuff like that. And so let me see if I can unlock the... I need to unlock this so that I can make the ammo for it. And let me see if I can unlock the harvester module. So I need to unlock that and that. Okay. Now this is one of the things about the tech tree is I just spawned that thing without ever having unlocked any of the components that are involved in building it. And so if you were to make it with the constructor, you would have to unlock them. So it's one of the ways in which the tech tree doesn't even get involved, even though, you know, it should, right? And come on, there we go. Okay, so the other thing I need to do is I need to make ammo. So let me see what I need to make ammo. To make this ammo, I need steel plate and nitrocellulose. So do I have nitrocellulose? Because that's made out of 
It's is it made out of logs or planks? Can I make it out of? It's just fibers, wood logs. Okay. Well, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna see what I have. Let me see what I have as far as because I don't see any. Oh, there's the fibers. Okay, that's the fibers that was letting me. Yeah. Cause see, when you put these in here, this turns. So it wasn't the wood logs. As you see, when I the wood logs are in there, but I take that out. Okay, so anyway, let's do this. We're gonna go over to the other while the screen is changing colors <laughs> because the sun's coming up. All right, we're gonna go over to this constructor. We're gonna put this stuff in here, and we're gonna make some ammo. So let's make. Um, let me see. One thousand. I think we're gonna do that. All right, so we're gonna see what we can make. That should make us a thousand rounds. If, if, yeah, four, so ten. Yeah, that should actually use up all of our fiber. Okay, that's perfect. And that will let us go out with the, that will let us go out with the, the hovercraft and do some gathering and exploring and all that. And if we run in, if, when we run into drones, we won't be like helpless because that's a concern is we want to be able to actually just go shoot some drones. We can get some experience points for doing that too. And let me see, I don't have that drill yet, so I need to get level seven in order to do that. And I thought there was a, I thought there was an armor locker here. I guess not. There might be one at the, at the other thing. So let me put, let me see, let me just pick something here. We're gonna put all our EVA boosts in this locker for the fun of it and see what happens. So let's see, we have, we have 700, 800, I think 800 will do us for now. So let's do this and we're going to go in here and we're going to put in our ammo. So we're going to do fill all. All right. And so now we have that. And the other thing I needed to do was to put on a harvester. I keep forgetting about that. And so let me see, what, it, what do we need to make a harvester? I can just cancel that too. But what do we need to make a harvester? We need hovercraft, devices. There's a cargo box. And oh, is that under weapons or something? Okay. Yeah. So let's do this. Oh, you know what? I can't make it because I don't have, really, I don't have enough stuff to make all of those. Really? Huh. Let me grab these two. I Do I really not have enough stuff to make one harvester? It's saying I need two motors. I can't even make a motor. Is that is that true? I don't have enough. I don't have steel. Oh, because you know what? Because I took all the iron out of here. Duh. <laughs> so let's see. Let's just grab. Let's put the iron back in here. Let's see what, what we can make. Can we make a harvester? No, we still can't make a harvester. So I am going to have to go get more iron. Okay. So we're just going to do that. We're going to use this drill to go get iron. And we're going to explore around the planet and see what we can find. And so what we're going to do is, let's see. Let me do this on the map. We're going to do waypoint, home, show on HUD. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to go, we're going to take a trip around the planet, I think. And maybe we're going to go this way first so that we get more daylight. And yeah, we're just going to make a lap around and see what we can, see what we can do. See what we can find. And so let me see, we are close to the North Pole, aren't we? Yeah, we are close to the North Pole. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. And then we're going to go around and gather I think I should probably stop and gather iron as I go and I have a lot more forward thrust than I have reverse thrust apparently so let's see stone removal so we're gonna do this while standing on top of our thing there we go and so then I should be able to get more ore doing this and so we're gonna go over here let's see whoops <laughs> right and come on and let me see we're gonna go like that so yeah I'm gonna gather some of these and 
see if see if it's funny it didn't it didn't change it and is there any no that's a mushroom okay and I think those mushrooms are let me let me you go check here that was over here okay so we're gonna do this too because we can because we can get the XP out of it and there's the coffee and the Akua and so I wanted to show you this that little mushroom is this alien plasma ZR1 and you can use that to get to make the uh, the little <laughs> if I can speak you can use that to learn how to speak right you can use that to make the these the small medikits so that's the technical term for them and <laughs> so anyway let's see there we go there we go all right and Anybody else? Anybody else? Now the other thing you can do here is you can use this and you can go like this. There we go. And so I should get a whole bunch of XP for that. This guy is really mad at me. And I can also get meat for that. There we go. Okay, so now I'm level 4. So this is the other thing. You're basically going to turn your... These guys are going to come at me? No, okay. You're gonna turn your, whoops, you're gonna turn your your fiber and iron into into uh, XP. So basically, is what you're doing. And so these guys, you can even shoot these guys. Let's see here. <laughs> and yeah, see, so you get you get a lot of XP for doing that. And is this is basically the quickest way to level up. Let's see. There we go. It's the quickest way to level up. See, I'm already level five now. And because you get like thousands of points. And these guys have that. Where's the other one? Okay, and that. So they have those seaweed snacks and stuff. Let me see here. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, so you can loot these bodies with the there, see there's all the sprouts. So you can loot these bodies with the drone as well. So you can't loot the actual containers, but you can loot the bodies. So there's that. And let's get back to our hovercraft. And so basically, the way I play is once I've gotten a vehicle, it I like make it a personal challenge to try to never set foot on the ground. <laughs> a lot of times I do that anyway. Is this guy just stuck here or what? I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck, so let's take advantage of that situation, right? <laughs> and let's see. Whoa! Yeah, let's get in. <laughs> His buddies are coming. His buddies are coming for me. Okay, so let's sit up here. There we go. Much better. And we'll get up here. Now, if you're standing on top of your hovercraft, you're fine. They won't, they won't get you. But, but the thing you have to watch out for is that they can walk underneath let's see so you can get bandages out of them too that's a nice thing for early game but they can walk underneath your hover engines let me see is there anything yeah i can put that in in the ammo box but yeah they can walk underneath your hover engines and if they walk underneath your hover engines it changes the position of the ship it will like bounce the ship around and so they can actually they can actually knock you off your ship <laughs> and suddenly start killing you because you're out sitting around in your drone or whatever. So yeah, you do need to be careful about that. And the other thing we need to get is some fiber. So let's do this. And let me see, what do we have? We have a, we have an ammo box. So I can put some stuff in the ammo box. Let's put all these sprouts <laughs> in the ammo box because I can. And that one. Okay. And I'll even put that in there too. Okay. And so there's some raptors. So we could probably even get some more levels here. But let me get a little bit more of this. And yeah, you get a ton of XP here. Let's do this. Let's get some XP. So we're going to lower. Use the shift key to lower down. There we go. And see, they run right for you. They run right for you. So they make it easy. Come on. The only thing is they get under... Now, you see what happened there? Is my ship is bouncing around like that? That's what I'm talking about. When it tilted like that. And so it can actually knock you off the ship. 
and so you do need to be careful about that. And these guys. There we go. And can we get the kiddos too? <laughs> and I think you only now get the XP when you kill them. I don't think you get XP for just doing damage anymore. You used to be able to get XP for just doing damage. But let's get let's get this stuff looted and come on. I'm gonna get this these <laughs> he's like floating in the air. He's like floating in the air, that's awesome. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to do was get some fiber. So I'm gonna see if I can do that here. Yeah, let's see. Am I hitting the tree? Can I can I knock this tree down? I don't think it's happening. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can get this one. Is this is the chainsaw like not working now or what? Or is it just not working with the drone? But let me get these guys too since I already used up my ammo on them. I might as well I might as well get the meat from them. So we'll we'll get all this meat here and if nothing else it will turn into spoiled food and we can turn that into into fuel. But I think I think there was another one over here somewhere. I don't see him now. Oh, there they are. Okay, they're over here. All right, so we'll get these, and it will show you, yeah, 21 seconds. So, yeah, it was pretty close here to, yep, I almost ran out of time there. All right, and so let me do this one more, because these guys keep spawning here. They just, they want me to have the XP, apparently. There we go, and big guy here. There we go, level six. All right, and so we're going to grab. <laughs> yep, I'm just going to keep doing this. And actually, I think I need to plant some tomatoes and stuff because then I could I could use those tomatoes too if I have a food processor. But I don't actually have, I don't think I have access to a food processor anywhere. But anyway, yeah, I think, let me get, is this, is this an Akua? That's an Akua bush. Let me see if there's a small tree around here or a big tree let me see if I can stand next to the tree on my ship and let's see yeah there we go okay so I should be able to get wood logs now let's see there we go okay so I got five wood logs and so with those I will actually be able to get oh there's more there's more uh, XP I mean Triceratops <laughs> there we go but yeah that's <laughs> so I can get some more wood logs and that's going to be it for episode 2 <laughs> join me in episode 3 where apparently my caps lock was set <laughs> join me in episode 3 for more we're going to wander around the planet and get XP and get some more resources and and get some wood logs and stuff like that so that we can get higher level weapons and arm them with ammo. So yeah, that's me it for two. Join me in episode three and we will see you then. Later.